Hello everyone and welcome to yet another right and in a live stream and that is true because we're taking a break from Fire Emblem Heroes <clears throat> as of today. Now do note that when I say this I am still gonna be doing important stuff like of course Grand Hero Battles, Tempest Trials, whatever it may be. And of course, so many banners, I mean, everything, technically, but I'm taking a break, kinda now. Okay, that doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so, one thing is for sure, whenever we do get 2k views in total, we will be doing the voting for the next 4 star to 5 star. If you guys don't know, there's already votes in right now. You can vote right now, put it down in the description below, not description comments below <laughs> and so you should be gucci on that front as well as of course grand hero battles important battles like bound heroes grand heroes and tempest trials like, we'll be doing those and probably not as much banners um i will explain everything why i'm doing this right now i mean i could say it later but so banners this game has a bad addiction for it trust me this game will break you so The next few banners, I probably won't summon for. I won't. So, I'll just say what happened last night for you guys are just wondering what the heck happened. <clears throat> I got the random urge to summon. Well, not just summon from any banner. As you noticed through the last two live streams, I was summoning. But of course, one of the viewers wanted me to summon once, so I did. Got you, she. 3.5%. Okay. But yesterday, I summoned again with anyone asking. As since we first summoned from this banner, I just kept getting the urge to get one of these two gowns. Um, not just because the girls or gals, it's more of the better than Shigure and Ignigo. And for me personally, I've always gotten the short stick and everything with um, seasonal banners. So for me, it was crucial to get at least one of them and at least one of them to be very decent. And so last night, I summoned through, I used all the orbs to summon. And then I paid another $40 to get 75 orbs, which eventually around the 40 to 60 orb summon spree, we ended up getting Azura. I know a lot of you are going to be probably angry at the fact that I got Azura and you don't yet. I didn't get Olivia either. Um, after I did get her and summon through everything just to see if I could get another four star because at that point I was a four percent chance. Pity rate. So I decided to summon again, but I summoned from block A of the dragon. Voting gauntlet. And of course I got nothing. So yeah. The reason why I'm stopping is so I don't stop start spending money and stop trying to summon from this game. Now I can stop fine, yes, but but for me, if I spend less time in Fire Emblem Heroes and care about it less, the less of an urge for me to play more and for me to try to summon. It's a way for me to chill out with Fire Emblem Heroes. Lately on this channel, it's been over a month, I think. Almost a month we've been doing Fire Emblem Heroes content. I really need to stop. Uh, so... Um, we will actually, I'll actually explain what our IVs are. They're not as horrible as the other two, I'll just say that. And she is usable. She won't be attacking, but she's usable. So. 
What we're gonna be live streaming today is a different game than Five Million Heroes. It will be on mobile, and that game will actually end up being either Plants vs. Zombies 2 or the game that I've been wanting to play for a very long time on the channel that some people are gonna be like, huh? They probably I lose some subscribers, I know it right now. So down online. Memory Defrag. I will be playing either that or Plants vs. Zombies 2, and I'm going forward to more of a Sword Art Online Memory Defrag. Probably in the thumbnail, I'll probably put Kirito in there, and just... <laughs> I think everyone's gonna be in, so they'll be like, wait, why is Kirito in the thumbnail? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be playing that game later today. So, I, obviously, I'll probably end up seeing a lot of people say that. So... IVs on their Sazura. Probably the best dancer I have so far, except Olivia, which does have plus speed, minus defense. She is kind of better than this Azura because she has nothing in speed. She didn't get plus nor negative. That's good. Um, I mean, she gets some decent speed. I don't have the calculator up, so I can't show you guys. But what she ended up getting was minus attack. Well, at least she has a legendary weapon. That's one thing. So, minus attack, she gets about to 45 attack, so not, I'm not bad at that. But she ended up getting plus defense. Nothing like plus health, but plus defense. Well, I'm not too, I'm not, I'm not mad at that either. More defense, less likely to get killed. I mean, 23 defense is really, really nice. So, probably the baddest um, range of Ivy plus and boons and banes so far on this channel. Um, it's neither good nor bad. Unlike Ignigo and of course Shigure getting minus attack and minus speed, I got a Zura. I would summon him up for more, but that just goes up on the purpose of I at least got one of them. And I'm fine not getting Olivia. Uh, I shouldn't actually have tried for Olivia. That was my problem. I shouldn't have tried. For some weird reason, I'm either extremely lucky or not with Colorless Hell. And because I didn't summon from Colorless Hell, most of the time, I'm usually more lucky. And that is actually shown in the CYL banner. Because I chose Lynn, I ended up getting, of course, Brave Ike, but I was not lucky enough to get anything else. Something to note, before we kind of end today's episode, I wanted to explain to you guys the luck. Because this luck that I have is extremely weird. Now, I really wanted these characters, so I did pay, and I, so I eventually got them. Yes. But free-to-play, if I just kept free-to-play... At times, I will be the luckiest duck on man Earth. And then, after some time after that, I'll be the unluckiest duck in the world. And that is actually shown when I first summoned through performance art. You know what I got? Five Star Maria. That's all. That could have been it. And that's something I want to let you guys know. Is that my luck can be that bad or could be even worse so that was what you will take uh, I think Azura is still better because of her plus three to everything literally a fury on a fury so it's nice to get Azura uh, at least with minus attack, she can at least live more hits of the plus defense, so that's always nice. Anyway, I don't really think there's anything else to note, is that only I have 21 orbs, I still have 20 from the summoning, so I guess it's up to you guys what you want me to do with the 20 orbs. Who knows, I'll probably end up just saving it up, so... You know I was saying when I was not not going to be doing any more banners. Well, of course, I'm going to be doing the summon, the free summon. But, 
I will not be buying or spending any orbs. No, actually, I won't be buying any orbs. No, I won't do that anymore. I, I'm not going to do that anymore. But spending orbs, I will actually not spend any orbs until Christmas banner. You see, ever since the leaks for the Christmas banner have been there, I've actually been interested in that banner since, well, when we first found out. So, with an announcement like this, and kind of a grain of salt too, I won't be fully summoning until the Christmas banner from here on out. And why are you my in the allies same? I'm just going to there, there. <laughs> so, I probably should take dance out so that I can dance. I'm ahead of you guys. I'm ahead of you. Anyway. Thanks for watching today's episode. Um, I did get 8k feathers. I was able to get to 3,900. I was doing um, Tempest Trials last night after the summoning. And then when I was doing it, I decided to put it on auto, auto battle for hard. I was doing an auto battle on hard. And then I just fell asleep during it. And, well... Woke up with me on the last map, failed, and so I chose an infant team, and I was like, eh, I probably won't get any points, and I did do it, I finished it, and then I was like, uh, dude, the thing has ended. And so, of course, I got 8k feathers still, because I was still in the 5k range, so there's that fun. So we can rank up a 1 star to a 5 star today, if I wanted to, but that's not the case, unfortunately. <clears throat> so, I mean, I love how I said it was going to be the end of the episode, and there's one more thing I do want to let you guys know. Who is actually winning, I guess, from the votes? Why I say this is so that you guys know who is in the lead. And you can decide a new character or characters that you want to vote for that are currently has votes. So, um, just so that you guys know, I probably won't be doing much editing. I mean, to be honest, I never really do edit my videos, so I don't really have that much knowledge. <clears throat> But during these intervals, I'm not doing anything because, well, there's really no point. It's just going to take a few seconds, and I can just still talk during it, and, you know, entertainment. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. I mean, I already technically remember who was winning, but just for a refresh of what's up and the character votes that it could be eventually five stars so as a time there really ain't any one twos threes or anything like that it's more of a ties right now with nino um saying is nino was voted upon last time we did this but i'm keeping her there anyway because whoever gets votes on a certain character will get zero vote, I mean, we'll go back to one vote, but that'll be only one vote. So let's say if someone voted Nino twice, and then let's say Rears got voted three times, and Rears won. Well, Nino will actually go to one vote. But for the next time, you can vote on her. And let's say if Nino doesn't win, she's still there as a contestant to win. So... They will stay there forever, but do note that you only have one vote. I mean, I haven't really phrased that yet, but you basically have one vote, but you can change that vote. Even, you can change it just on the, um, the live stream itself, too. So, there's that. So, we have Nino, of course. Ugh. Um, to be honest, I don't know if video, um, video recording will do with headphones or not. So if you hear it now, I just took my headphones off, so I don't know how um do you recorder, which is basically an app works with 
No. So, anyway. We have Nino. Then we have... This is all tied. There's no first or second places yet. There's Hana the Katana. And, of course, Subaki. So... Those three are... Had one vote each. There hasn't really been a... You know, actual vote vote of who's gonna win yet. But... Who knows? Maybe someone will vote for a character or vote for someone like Nino and they could get two votes now and they could win if no one votes more of another character. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I think it is the end of the episode. I There's really nothing else to talk about. I did vote note the votes. Do note that it's not going to happen until the live stream, and the live stream will take a while before we actually do it, so you have some time in the live stream to cast your vote. Then I'll probably be doing something else like trading, so... I think that, yeah, that'd be the end. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not to see when I do new videos and live streams. So I say new videos... Well, I do plan on doing more YouTube videos. It's something that I really wanted to do, but I just never really got a chance to because I've been live streaming Fire Emblem Heroes. And, as always, I'm Zekim11. Now, see you all in the next live stream or video. And.